Hello everyone! It's so nice to have you all again in our Story Corner. My name is Teacher Lino and I am happy to be with you today. First, I'd like to introduce you to some special friends. Good day, Teacher Lino! Everyone, this is Ati Sam and Kuya Ian. Can you say hello to them? Hello! Ati Sam and Kuya Ian will join us today as we read another story. We will read a story about the five sisters. Teacher, I am excited to read our story. I am too! Can we read it now? Before we read, I want to share some words with you. These words will be in the story. I will spell each word, read it, and use it in a sentence. This word is hike. Spell hike with me, then read the word with me. Students, please spell and read the words too. H I K E. Hike. A hike is a long walk. I hike up a hill. Now, students pretend to hike too. Now we know what hike means. Great job! Students, spell and read the word here with me. H E A R. Here. If you speak too softly, I cannot hear you. Please speak a little louder so I can hear you. This word is taste. Students, spell taste with me. Then read the word with me. T A S T E. Taste. Ripe mangoes taste sweet. This word is listen. Let's spell it and read it together. L I S T E N. Listen. We use our ears to hear and to listen. We listen when the teacher reads a story to us. What stories do you like to listen to? I like those stories too! This word is where. Spell the word and read it with me. W-H-E-R-E -E, Where We use the word where to ask or talk about a place. Where do you live? Or we can ask, where did you put your book? Students, it is your turn to ask a question using the word where. Wonderful! I like where I live. I wish I knew where all of you live. Now, we are ready to read. I think we know most of the words in the story. Today's story is about five sisters. Follow along in your books as I read. Ati Sam, Kuya Ian, we have a special guest that will help us in reading. By a video call, say hi to Kim. Hello students, I am Kim and I am excited to read with you all today. 
For the family members of our students, we hope you can join us in reading the story. I will read the story out loud. Listen and look for the words that we learned today. When I ask a question, answer out loud, just as if you are in school. Here's the cover of the story. There's a picture of a group of girls. How many girls are there? That's right! There are five girls. The title of our story is The Five Sisters. It was written by Basa Pilipinas, while Rea Diwata Mendoza illustrated the images. Ate Sam, Kuya Ian, and Kim, are you ready to read? Yes! I would like that! Students, are you ready? Let's begin! Chapter 1 The five sisters are in the garden. Eileen sees Amaya fly down the wide lane. She says to her sisters, I want to see where the bird is going. Her sisters say, Yes, let's see where the Maya went. Maybe it is at the lake. Aunt Pilar and Uncle Mario are here. We can all walk to the lake. Eerie hears the waves on the lake. Nosy sniffs and says, I smell wood forest for cooking. Lippy licks her lips and says, Fish? I like the taste of cooked fish. Two of our new words are on this page. Students, say the word here with me and touch your ear. Say the word taste with me and pretend to taste the fish as you put it in your mouth. Touchy asks her aunt and uncle if they will hike to the lake. Students, do you remember what a hike is? A hike is a long walk. Very good! Let's keep reading. Aunt Pilar says, I like to hike. Uncle Mario says, A hike to the lake is fine. Let's go. All the sisters smile. Touchy says, We always have fun at the lake. What does it mean to have fun? It means to do something that makes you happy. Very good. Students, what do you do for fun? That sounds like fun! Let's keep reading. The sisters reply, I see the blue water. I hear the waves and the wind. I smell the fish cooking. I feel the warm air. Touchy, do you feel the breeze? I know we haven't read much of the story yet, but let's talk about what we know so far. What is the story about? Yes, it is about five sisters. Eily, Eerie, Nosy, Lippy, and Touchy. What happens first? That's right! Eily sees Amaya and wants to see where the Maya has gone. Her sisters agree that it would be a good thing to do. Who do they ask if they can go on a hike? Yes! The sisters ask their aunt and uncle if they can go on a hike. 
So, they go on a hike. Eily sees the blue water. Eerie hears the waves and the wind. Nosy smells the fish cooking. Touchy feels the warm air. Very good! Now let's read Chapter 2 to find out what happens next. Chapter 2 The five sisters are in the lane. Please, let's race to the lake. Okay, says Aunt Pilar. But we have to be back to bake a cake for the party. Oh, that's something we did not know. There is going to be a party. A party is a time when people get together and have fun. What do they have to do for the party? That's right! They have to bake a cake. What kind of party do you think it will be? That's a good prediction. Let's keep reading to see if your prediction is right. Ate Sam, Kuya Ian, Kim, can you read what the sisters say? Yes! While we read, we can play a game with action words. When you hear the word see, point to your eye like this. When you hear the word hear, put your hand behind your ear like this. When you hear the word smell, point to your nose like this. When you hear the word taste, lick your lips like this. And when you hear the word feel, wiggle your fingers like this. Ready? Let's read! The five sisters race to the lake. I see a kite. I hear the wind. I feel the soft waves. I smell the fire. I want to taste the fish. Just then, Eileen sees a carnival on the other side of the lake. She says, Let's go to the carnival. Aunt Pilar says, Okay, but we cannot be late to bake the cake. Eerie hears the music. Nosy smells the popcorn. Lippy wants to taste the sweets. Touchy says, This sand is very soft. I like to walk in it. This is the end of Chapter 2. Thank you, Ate, Kuya, and Kim. You did a wonderful job reading. Thank you, teacher. Yes, thank you. It was so fun. I had a great time reading with you. Please excuse me as I need to help my mother with some household chores. Sure, Kim. Please join us again next time. Students, can you say goodbye to Kim? We will see each other next time too, okay? You all did a great job reading the story with me. And Kim was very fun to read with. Now students, it's time to learn something new. Let's learn about using the letters in a word to sound out the word. You have learned the short sounds for the letters A, E, I, O, and U. Now, you are going to learn about the long sounds those letters make. <coughs> Students, as I point under each letter, I will say the long sound for the letter. Then, you say the long sound with me. This word has the letter pattern vowel consonant E. When we see this letter pattern, we say the long sound for the vowel. We say the sound for the consonant. We do not say a sound for the letter E at the end of the word. Listen as I sound out the word. The sound is A. 
the word is cake. Students, say the sound for the first vowel and read the word with me. A cake. I like the taste of cake. Let's try another word. I see the letter pattern vowel consonant E. The letter I stands for I. I. Bike. Students, say the sound and the word with me. I. Bike. I ride my bike. Can you ride the bike? Students, sound the next words with me. A. Wave. Wave. In the story, the sister saw waves at the lake. Wave can also mean a way that I move my hand. I can wave my hand when I see you. Can you wave to me? How about this word? A Game I like to play a game with my friends. Let's try one more word. O Rope We have one more thing to learn. We need to learn about cause and effect. Cause and effect are two things that make stories interesting. Cause and effect? What are those? A cause is the thing that makes other things happen. It is why something happens. An effect is the thing that happens. Here is an example. If you eat too many mangoes, you can get a tummy ache. The cause is eating too many mangoes. The effect is a tummy ache. I will say a sentence. Kuya Ian, Ate Sam, tell me the cause and the effect. Listen to this sentence. Eerie hears waves, so Eerie walks to the lake. What is the cause? Eerie hears waves. Then, what is the effect? Eerie walks to the lake. Yes. You're right, Ate Sam. Hearing waves is the cause, and walking to the lake is the effect. Now, let's have some fun! Today, we have another guest. He is joining us via video call, and he is a student just like you. Students, let's all say hi to MJ. Hi everyone, my name is MJ. I'm excited to join you right here from our house. Hi Ate Sam and Kuya Ian. Hi there! I will say a sentence. Then, I will repeat one part of the sentence. If what I say is the cause, I want you to clap like this. Very good! Now, if what I say is the effect, I want you to stomp your feet like this. Ate Sam, Kuya Ian, and MJ will join us too. Students, please stand up and have fun with us! Students and others at home, are you ready? Here we go! Our sentence is... The sisters see a carnival, so they ask Aunt Pilar 
if they can go to the carnival. Now, remember, clap if I say the cause and stomp if I say the effect. Ready? The sisters ask Aunt Pilar if they can go to the carnival. Very good! You stomp because asking Aunt Pilar if they can go to the carnival is the effect. The cause is seeing the carnival. Let's do another one. The sentences are, Carnivals are fun. The sisters want to go to the carnival. Ready? Clap if the sentence is a cause. Stomp if the sentence is the effect. Carnivals are fun. Very good! Carnivals are fun is the cause. The effect is the sisters want to go to the carnival. You have done a wonderful job! Did you have fun, MJ? I didn't, but I think I have to go now. I still have homework to finish. I'm happy we get to play together. See you next time, MJ. Take care! Okay, students, before we go, I want to give you activities to do at home. Read chapters 1 and 2 of the 5 sisters to someone at home. Then, do the activities on page 6 and page 11. Do not hesitate to ask for help from your family members and teachers. Remember, here at My TV School, We learn as one, yes we learn as one, together hand in hand. We learn as one, yes we learn as one, together hand in hand. Kuya Ian, Ate Sam and I had so much fun with you today. Thank you to all students and family members who joined us. See you next time for a new story. Goodbye! Goodbye! We learn as one, yes we learn as one, together